So it's Wednesday night. I have just gotten back from work. I've been out of the house for 12 hours. I am shattered, but it is game night. Um, so at the moment, we're still practicing for the Northern Open. I think it's number 10. Limited insertion. I'm still hammering out the Toha. Um, I can kind of see how family, but also work, is, becomes like a massive barrier to to playing games. Um, especially if you kind of only got the week to really do it. Um, right now, I really want to play, but I also really want to go to sleep. Um, and in addition to that, it is the worst part of any gaming experience for me. In Affinity is setting up the table. I hate it. It's just so much to do and to get right. Um, and I'm kind of having a fallout with terrain anyway at the moment, as I'll show you later, because I'm super fed up of painting terrain. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting a little bit of practice in tonight. Um, hopefully, hopefully do okay. I've been doing all right recently. Um, and then as soon as August is over, it's time to start moving on to Hack Islam. And I'll go through that a little bit later with you. So I'll catch you in a bit. Right, table is set. Luke should hopefully be here in about a quarter of an hour. I've been trying to change up our table recently in the sense of making it a little bit more open so that we're a bit more prepared for tournaments. Um, I don't know how this table is going to work. It's either going to be really good or really bad. Um, so I'll give you a little tour. So there are no big long fire lanes, however I realise there's quite a few big gaps between um, some buildings just because it's a little bit more open. Also it's a tiny bit scarce in the deployment zone and they also both have wide long buildings in them. So there's a chance that both of us are going to end up having like a sniper off. I've tried to compensate for that for making it um, a bit too busy in the middle so that that can't happen but we'll see. Hello, 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 hello. Um, I realize I haven't been putting things out very regularly. If you've been following me for a little while, you know this is not a new thing. Um, I've started a new job and what it does mean is that I don't get to hobby as much as I'd like. However, I've got some exciting updates from what's happened recently and many unpart finished vlogs that I can put together to give you some nice content. Um, I have quite literally just got back from Leeds today. Um, and this weekend it was the Northern Open 10. If you guys haven't been, then you are seriously missing out. It is one of the premier events in the UK for Infinity the game. This time it was Limited Insertion and me and Luke have been practicing Limited Insertion for about the last four months now. Um, the Harlequins tournament before replicated these missions and I haven't changed my list in all that time, which means that I've become really familiar um, with what I'm running and I'm really quite comfortable and happy with it. As per usual, it was a stellar day and I actually performed a lot better than I thought, so here's a quick rundown of my games. The first game um, I played was against Paul uh, Hendop on the ITS uh, forums. I was really happy to see Paul and his mate John there, who, who I played last time um, at the Harlequins tournament, and it's always quite nice to see new players come, and it was Paul's first Infinity tournament. Um, however, that did not hinder him at all. Um, he told me he'd been wargaming for about 38 years or so, so whilst it's his first ITS event, uh, he's got some good experience under his belt. I thought it was running really smoothly, to be honest. Um, the first one we played was Transmission Matrix, and I knew from the past that I needed to keep my Ectros out of uh, the hacking area, um, because Paul was playing... Um, what did he have now? He had JSA, no. Yeah, I'm quite sure he had JSA. Um, he had two bikers, which I was quite unfamiliar with. Um, and uh, he had what he told me, sort of the way he put his force together was mainly based on what was painted as opposed to um, tactical decisions, which however, didn't really hinder him that much. Um, he had three um, infiltrating TO camo markers. Uh, there was two ninjas on the board and a hack towel, and that messed with me a little bit. Um, but I was quite confident with my setup, so as per usual, I picked sides and made him deploy first, because I'm pretty passive um, as a player, as you guys know. And the secure was on point, as per usual. Missile launcher in left and right, and to be honest, it should have been an easy win. However, I cocked up massively. There was a moment when I thought I was gonna take the hack towel out. It was the end, my last order of turn one. 
And if you're familiar with Transmission Matrix, it's a round scoring mission. Fuck. So, I shot the back of the hack towel because I thought I could wipe him out, which has got kind of the main board control at the moment. It was quite scary. Thinking that my Gal Rail would have been enough points over what I assumed was a ninja in TO. Um, what it turned out to be was a Hussein, um, and I lost by three or four points. Um, so I gave away two points for that round. Um, and shortly after, Paul whipped out his classified of, uh, I think it was either extreme prejudice or experimental drug. So it put me on the back foot and I shit myself, to be honest. Um, it wasn't good because I could have won six, six, two. I believe, because um, he did score both his classifieds. In the end, it ended up being a 4-4 draw, which was which was fine. Um, he played it really well. I made a few silly mistakes. He did a couple of things where I thought I was going to get absolutely destroyed. Um, he could have hacked me a couple of times, um, but chose not to. Um, but, you know, it all comes with experience, doesn't it? Um, so 4-4, um, it was okay. But it turned out three tables drew, which I thought was quite surprising for Infinity. So um, went into the next round and I was playing Pete. And if you know me and Pete, I panic because Pete from um, Straight Out Calendania, he's won a few ITS events uh, and he's quite familiar with the game. He's a war core and um, quite worried. Now I beat him last time at the Harlequins um, and this time we were playing... Um, and tenor field. Um, last time I played him, it was supplies. Uh, he was bringing um, Caledonia, and he had a fair few camera markers. Um, he went to try an alpha strike. However, again, Sekiel in the middle launcher, in a triad, missile launcher even, um, locked down a fair few things. But one of the things I was particularly proud of um, was I managed to use my McCall in a triad smoke to get them up the board um, with a Gal Rail and Aeolus Kisan, get in touch and um, with the antenna uh, on my right side, but also get the McCall close enough that the next time, next order, he came out of the smoke um, and flamed Isabel and um, I think it was a not a Highlander. Can't remember, but he was quite important. He was about thirty points. I left Pete with not many things left on the table. I managed to secure a nice um, 10 which I was pretty happy with, to be honest. Um, I felt a little bit sorry throughout the game because it was one of those ones where I was critting loads. His dice had just completely abandoned him. Um, but um, I felt pretty happy managing to get, you know, a classified as well as sort of secure the HP. Uh, no, sorry, it was secure the HPT because there's only one in that one. Um, but, you know, the main antenna, my antennas each round. So I was pretty, ch pretty chuffed with that, to be honest which set me up for the last game. And I kind of was thinking, um, I'm gonna play so okay. And Ed came over and told us that we're on like the third top table. And if they play poorly, we might sneak in. So it gave me a little bit of hope, um, much like it did at the Harlequins. So um, I was playing Mike this time. And to be honest, it was, it, you know, Mike's combined um, army was pretty similar to, to Matt Fisher's who won the event in the end. Um, Sotek, if you know him from the forums, he's won a fair few events and he's quite well up in the Masters. With this, uh, it was another kind of a massacre, to be honest. He alpha striked and took away a box on the first turn, um, but when it was on my first turn, I managed to take out a Q drone and the, the mech bot next to it um, that would have repaired it. I managed to take out like a sniper. And the very first roll of the game, to be honest, was... Um, a specular killer come in to a gal rail um, and I crit him on the way in um, and he died so it kind of really set the tone for the game um, I managed to get 9-1 which was good um, all throughout the day I'd picked every single adeptor card I couldn't do which sucked but I was happy with that it was um, so a draw major major which was I was really chuffed with and it came to the end of the day and I wasn't expecting it I was kind of I was pretty tired I did turn up a little bit hungover and I wasn't really thinking quite straight near the end of prize giving. And I got pulled for the raffle, which is ridiculous luck. Because if you know or you've been following me, Harlequins and two Northern Opens, I've been pulled for the paint and raffle, which is just freaking awesome. So I ended up picking up some Merc dice because I forgot there was a level up £10 voucher there. But 
Luke got that, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and then I pulled out second, which was amazing because I just, you know, I really didn't think it was going to happen because um, I thought someone would probably have a minor, major, major. So I ended the day off with 24 um, objective points and I was really happy with that. So picked up 20 quid worth of vouchers, which I'm going to get my mutts with. Um, so f for this season, I suppose, um, you know, we, we end ITS next week. And I think I need a bit of a change to have a better understanding of the game. But I'm also really, really fearful because it means I'm going to suck for a while. Um, I can cheese a little bit with Toha in the sense that I can take big risks because you've got the Pokemons to get rid of things. And I really am really comfortable with them at the moment and I like my setup. But I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try hack. Um, Maggie is going to be the main forefront because I need to learn how to use a tag. I want it to be different. Um, I want to learn how to hack properly hack with the hacks um so yeah um i'm gonna get some mutterweers and um hopefully put them together one of the things that this has done though has meant that i feel a little bit more confident so that's two tournaments that i've come second in very recently i think it's going to still be a while till i get first but i'm pretty impressed with myself to be honest um and i'm considering going to the masters now i promised myself that i would I'm getting a tax rebate on the 31st. I might go. So um, watch this space because it could be pretty crazy. So in regards to kind of normal gaming at the moment, I am struggling to get new uh, get games in, have a look around because I get home so late from the hospital. Um, and I'm usually pretty knackered, to be honest, from sort of 10, 12 hour days. Um, one of the things we're doing because it's a bit easier and what I'm really excited about because I haven't done this so long is we're going to start up Dungeons and Dragons. I'm going to be doing this using um, Roll20. If you've ever used it, it has improved massively recently um, and I'm really excited to do it because we're going to be doing um, the Storm of Kings. So we've all chipped in eight quid and we've got the official um, pack, the, the module for it, and it looks top dog. Um, it looks really good and it's all set out for me so I haven't got to do anything apart from get going and play. So all the tokens are in place, all the maps are set up, all the items, everything's in the players' um, things that they need. So it's really, really good and it just means I can pick up and go. Um, so I'm really excited for that. I've been trying some voices. Don't know if I'm going to be able to pull them out very well, but it could be funny either way. Um, so that's going to be every Tuesday now and I will be uploading that to um, to YouTube. Um, it's going to be pretty raw. I'm not going to live stream it because it knackers my internet and it will just look not very good for you guys. So I'd rather record it and then upload it in 1080p. Um, but it should be cool. Should be a bit of fun. Um, Ian from Just Plays playing. Luke's playing. My mate Jay's playing. And um, one of Ian's friends, Greg, who seems pretty cool, is coming on. So um, I'm excited to get that going. I haven't played D&D in ages. Um, and it just means I can do a lot without any prep. Um, so I'm going to leave it there for tonight. I'm going to hash this blog together with a couple of the bits that I've been working on. Not been doing any painting for ages, but hopefully with the hack, I will be back on it. Um, although I'm just tinkering with the idea of maybe getting a commission painted army. Um, but we'll see how much my tax is. So hope you guys are well. Um, I'll try and be a little bit more consistent, especially with the D&D. So a few more videos should be out, which you can watch in the background whilst you're doing your things. Um, and I'll catch up with you soon. Layers. Please.